So when talking about lipids, we know that lipids are made up of glycerol and fatty acids. But we need to understand a little bit about fatty acids and some of the different types of carbon chains that can be formed. So normally when you see a jagged line that could be written something like this, bup, 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 these are actually carbons that are at the corners here, as you can see, carbon, 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 these carbons at the corner here. So you can simplify the structure by actually drawing it like this, but you need to recognize that when you see something like this, it is probably a fatty acid. And so you can tell from the repeated structure here that you can kind of predict what's gonna be there. If there's a carbon here, you expect there to be two more hydrogens because every carbon atom makes four bonds. So it's pretty predictable. And at the end of every one of these fatty acids, there's gonna be a carboxyl group that has a COOH. And if it's written in a chemical formula, you'll recognize a COOH. If you see it drawn, you'll see a C double bond O and a C bonded to a hydroxyl group or an OH group. So this is how you recognize what a fatty acid is. Now, there are variations and you can do different types of things. For example, if there's a double bond here, then we'd, we we might have to change the number of hydrogens because carbon can only make four bonds. So there's one, two, three, four. So that means this H has got to disappear. Same thing over here. There's one, two, double bond, three, four. So this H is gonna have to disappear over here. So you can see we can make these double bonds and the double bonds actually will affect the properties of the fatty acids. So it's going to uh, have repercussions for health related things when we're eating different types of fats and lipids that contain fatty acids of different types. So we're gonna outline a few terms here that help us to categorize fatty acids into their different types. So first of all, we're gonna see this word uh, saturated here. This is not actually too bad. The word saturated just means totally filled up. So if my clothes are fully saturated with water, that means I've sweat so much that my clothes can't possibly hold any more water. Totally disgusting. But in this case, with fatty acids, if the fatty acid is actually saturated, it means every double bond has been filled up. In other words, there are no double bonds. All carbon atoms are linked by a single covalent bond. You cannot increase the number of hydrogen atoms. We're not talking about this double bond at the end with this carboxyl group. We're talking about any double bonds that might exist in here. So what we're looking at here in this example that I'm going to make things messy by circling, this is actually, well before I messed it up over here, is actually a saturated fatty acid. Any fatty acid that has any number of double bonds, one double bond in here or two double bonds, uh, that's not going to be possible. Any other kind of double bonds, we would call those unsaturated. So an unsaturated fast fatty acid is going to have at least one double bond and possibly more. Uh, mono unsaturated means only one double bond. That makes sense because mono means one. So mono unsaturated means one double bond in the fatty acid. And then obviously poly unsaturated means that there can be two or more double bonds. And so we're gonna see some examples a little bit later, but hopefully you can already start to picture them. We're almost done with categorizing fatty acids. And the last is if we have a double bond, look at these two situations. We have situation number one, and we have situation number two. In situation number one, with the double bond, the two extra hydrogens, see every carbon has four bonds, right? There's one, two, three, four. This carbon also has one, two, three, four. So in this double bond situation, the two hydrogens are on the same side. If they're on the same side, then it's called a cis unsaturated fatty acid. So we could have a particular double bond and it can have this arrangement or it can be trans. Trans is a prefix that means across. So in a trans unsaturated fatty acid, it means the double bond that we're referring to has hydrogen atoms that are going across from each other. So this is called a trans bond right here. This would be a cis bond. And then you can add different types of names to these things based on how many double bonds there are. If there's only one, if there's more than one, we call it a polyunsaturated fatty acid. And then based on the, the type of double bond and the location of these actual hydrogen atoms, if they're on the same side or different side, we can call them cis or trans -satur unsaturated bonds, basically. Why do we need to know all this? Well, because we need to understand how lipids affect our health. And it turns out we've done a lot of research on different types of fatty acids, and we've been able to figure out which ones of these are the ones that are really bad for health and the ones that are not so bad for health. 
that's the basic situation here so quick review uh, just in case you got lost fatty acids you can categorize them into different types they can be saturated in other words no double bonds they can be unsaturated means they have double bonds we can add a counter in front mono means there's only one double bond polyunsaturated means there's more than one or two or more double bonds and then cis and trans describe the types of double bonds that are actually there what's the big picture idea here is that the different types of fatty acids will affect the way they function in the body and can affect our health as well too so hopefully that wasn't too crazy uh, go look up just type in fatty acids online and see if you can apply some of these terms to all the images that you see uh, saturated unsaturated monounsaturated polyunsaturated cis and all of that all right good luck